welcome back to Minecraft Down Under. This is episode 112. So last blooming episode was a bit of a, a bit of a disaster. Well, not really a disaster. We started ripping out the centre here and redoing it. You know, making it look pretty and all. And um, it did work. It, it worked quite well. We've managed to hide the redstone. Remember, there is pistons and and dispensers and stuff all and redstone all hidden beneath the legs now because we do have two modes for this farm. If you don't already know, we have an XP farm. Uh, an XP mode for the Guardians, and we also have just the kill chamber as well. So that's great. We have two modes, but we had to hide all the redstone. That is all hidden now. I'm really happy with that. We've been doing well down here the last couple episodes. We we, we hooked up this the new, obviously, the new um, uh, disintegrator overflow system, um, and, the, and the elevator is still going absolutely nuts. And um, then we did redid the middle. But yeah, it was a little bit of a disaster because the cow, the original cow... We accidentally, you know, he was a, uh, yeah, he did. He didn't quite fit into the elevator shaft, so he may have uh, fallen over. <laughs> he, <laughs> oh no, I felt so bad, and, and some people found that so funny, but um, yeah, no. So that that happened. That sort of a dis that was a bit of a disaster. But the block on this corner, for some reason, all the guardians sort of jump into this corner here. And they're trying to push out, like, as best as they can. So we broke the block in the last episode. And they just... They come flooding out. And, oh, I thought we lost control of the room. I really did. I thought we really lost control of the room. Flame and galah. Day to your blooming fruit loop. We've got a big problem. But, no, we're getting control of the room again. Killed all the guardians, which is obviously fan blooming tastic. Oh, crikey. So that was last episode. Bloody disaster, I reckon. Bloody disaster. Okay, so what are we doing this episode? Well, we're, we, we're going to keep, be doing a bits and bobs and things. I want to have a go at this wall here and color, being, putting in a bit of color in here, making it a little bit, bit sexy. And then going upstairs and probably putting a piston door into the dome, if thick enough. And I'm not even sure if it's going to work. So there's a couple of things we can do today. A couple of things we definitely can do today. Um, I've got to be working on the mob bob farm again soon too because I'm work currently working on the third wing and I want to get that done and tested, done, done and dusted, tested. Start on the fourth wing soon. That's going to be, oh, it's such a big bloody job. But, you know, it's going to be worth it. Oh, don't get me rid of me rockets and we can put the hoppers in here, no problem. Um, we'll keep the glass on us and we'll keep that on us. All right, Bob's your uncle. Let's go ahead and convert some of these um, shards into to bricks here. We will do that because, you know, we need to do this anyway because technically it is full. Uh, shift, shift. It's sort of, it's sort of this, the, the book on the side here has made it a lot easier to mass make blocks now. There we go. Look at that. All right. I just want to put this a bit of, prismarine brick with add the the nice color to the room as well okay so yeah you probably noticed that the the sound effects for block placing is turned off that's due to multiple things the the multiple clocks that are going over there tick tick tick, tick, tick. we don't want all that going so all right so the first things first let's go ahead and let's let's get some scaffolding all right all right there we go so cobblestone block is going to be completely fine for scaffolding and what we're going to do is we're going to rip this wall up. That's right. We are going to rip this wall up. Right up. Just take it right up as far as we can go. It should look good. So give 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 it a chance, guys. Give it a chance. All right. Make sure you give this a chance because uh, don't judge until it's done. Flame and galah. Some people do that a little too quickly, if you know what I mean. So what I'm doing, I'll probably do both sides at the same time. I want to do either side of the window here, a prismarine brick. Boom, 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 and boom. And take just take that down as we go as well. Probably going to do that to each one of the windows here. Down, down, down. There we go. Right down. It looks a little bit funny at the moment. And this side as well. Alright, and then we'll stand back and have a quick squiz, obviously, like normal. But what I want to do is put one there, and I want to put one there as well. Boom. Just take this all the way down. And just keep going. And this side as well. And this side here. Boom. 
Alright, done. Okay, so stand back a little bit. And already I'm seeing a massive improvement. So now we're adding just that fine a bit more colour in. That is doing well. So let's do this side as well. So we'll do this side, then I'll replicate it on the opposite side, then we'll do the centre. And the centre is probably the most important. And then if we can wrap the entire room like this, like even this, oh, it should look really, really good. Uh, way better than what it was. And then we've got to choose some coloured glass to put in the, obviously, the windows and in that section there. That's, that's going to be key as well. I do like myself a bit of decorating, but I've been meaning to do this for so long. So, so long. We've... we've we're 112 episodes into Season 2 here, and we've got so many jobs to go, so there's no sign of any slowdown of Minecraft down under yet, guys. Flame and galah. Flame. Oh, is that a drop creeper? That's a bloody drop creeper right there. Can we whack him from here? There's multiple. Do not let them explode. There is multiple. What, really? All right, one more. He's down. There's another one. He might give us an opportunity. Can I even get him? Uh oh. He's burning. Got him. Alright. Take this opportunity to plomp in just a lamp in the wall there. Just to, you know, so there's nothing that can spawn in the corners there. That is fine. Alright. So keep dropping the prismarine brick in. So take that one out and drop that straight down. And this one is... What, was it this one? Yeah, it was this one. No, they're not on the same level. I didn't think they were on the same level. Oh, they're not. I knew it. Alright, take this one out as well. Oh, some more... Another hidden little area. We talked about this like a few episodes ago. Of, um, you know, finding like uh, the mobs randomly spawning in large areas. And then you hear zombies in the walls. And you're like, oh, where's that coming from? And you cannot find it for the life of you. You're always like looking around and you just you just cannot find where the damn thing is sitting you're like ah you're just driving you up the bloody wall so i'm making sure if we uncover a little bit like that we make sure that we even just throw up any random block in there that produces light which is right now sea lanterns for us because sea lanterns are a dime a dozen um all right then straight up with that one and done and that's both windows there complete bomb bomb look at that already guys not that looks freaking fantastic that is looking absolutely fantastic as soon as i do this on this side and then we just got to worry about the center of the room and she should look and sexy so i'll be right back let me go ahead and take care of this side here and then we'll, we'll have a look and see what we can do with the center of the room and there we go. The other side is now blooming installed, which is fantastic. Look, look, it's looking freaking fantastic. As soon as we just added a, even a, the slightest amount of colour, um, the room is oh, the room is going to be absolutely stunning down here. I reckon once we're done, um, I need to add a block to the bottom here anyway. I was trying to get me sandstone back. There we go. So obviously, I've got to do the middle. We've got to talk about the middle here. And we've got to do the stairways and everything else eventually. I'm not too worried about the portal room or anything like that. I've still got to obviously slab where the dirt is and do the back area here. We can do all that later. We're just adding a bit of colour to the front area for now. And hopefully over the, those two as well as we sort of start patching and finishing off rooms as we go along. Okay, so the first things first. I think what we'll do is do wrap the windows... And then maybe wrap that in prismarine brick. And maybe even the door. And if that looks good, then we're going to keep it, obviously. Alright, so let's scaffold. Do we have enough? Should we make it? We'll make a couple more. We'll make a couple more before we go up there. Is it, is it finished training? No, it hasn't finished training. We'll yoink it all. Yoink. There we go. A couple more stacks there. Just to get us through. But that's looking beautiful. Alright, let's go ahead and go straight up. Just keep going. Alright, so remember, wrap the beautiful uh, pattern we have in the wall here. Try not to destroy the damn place like I just did. Boom, boom. And, oh, oopsie. No, that one was right. 
It's that one and that one that you gotta get. That one, that one. Jump, jump. Uh, do we want it connected to anything? No, we won't bother. Alright, let's go up a couple. Boom, boom. Here, here, and here. Boom, boom, boom. Alright, down we go. Here and here. Oh, we just got rid of some light, but that's okay. We got the glowstone in there. Look at that. That already stunt looked better. Alright, so we've done the top. Now we'll come down and we'll connect it to the window. Probably a good idea. Make it feel like it's all connected along. Boom, on both sides. Boom, boom. And on the bottom here. Boom, boom, boom. Straight across. There you go. And do this as well. Slit. And another slit. And another one here. Flame and galah. This should look sexy. Boom. Okay, so that's all connected. Let's jump down from here. Just make sure that it's all looking really good. Alright, just stand back. Ooh, that's nice. But the middle may be a tad too much prismarine brick. But it is looking nice. We can break it up by putting some sandstone probably some slit there and slit there. And just keep in the centre. It will break it up a little bit, but not too much. Might look half complete though. I'm not sure. So like, give me a second. Let me try something. Here, 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 and build it. Ah, flaming gala. All right, build it up there and come over by one. Build it up again on that side and literally come down. There we go. All right, so we stand back, have a quick squeeze. Oh, yeah, okay. It looks a little bit incomplete with the sides. I think that's going to be personal opinion now. I just think wrapping the, all the windows solid was not a good idea. Just keeping that little, that those both edges there, but doing the center like that is fine. Is completely fine. Ah, oh, now I'm torn. I'm torn. We'll come back to that. We'll come back to that. Okay, we'll come back. So relax. What we'll do now is try wrap the doorway as well right around bum, bum. literally the doorway here which we use stairs so we're replacing the stairs boing boing alright let's take a quick squeeze oh yeah see look at that guys that is looking stunning finally adding a bit of colour to the room I love it. Actually, the sandstone complements the prisma and brick quite well. And that's just my taste. I don't, I don't know about yours, but I really like that and where that's going. So now we can literally, if we can, extend this bad boy out, literally. So follow the same, same as the thing. Extend it out till we hit there. Boom, boom, boom. And literally keep wrapping it around the room it's gonna break up all this sandstone let's do the same with the top one if we can and then we're gonna wrap the thing as well boom boom just keep it going might as well keep it going and then we'll probably put some some maybe some uh sea lanterns or some pattern in the corner here later on when it becomes um because it's getting really dark the only problem about the walls at the moment is we've been putting torches on them so, obviously, the torches have to go. Yucky, yucky, yucky. But, uh, um, see, you know, pattern of sea lanterns or something will have to obviously replace that. There we go. And what we'll do is continue what we've done wrapping the first arch here right around. Let's just continue this. Like, seriously. We're on a roll. And it looks beautiful. So, if we did the first arch here, up, 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 up we go. This should look quite nice. Just tap, tap a -roo. Um, Is it me or did the, uh, did the dispensers stop? It is, did we break something? Or did the, um, or did we, did the actual, uh, uh, the overflow stopped overflowing, if you know what I mean? If that's the case, that's bloody brilliant. Okay, all right. 
basically. It feels like everything's connected this way. So keep this up, wrap it around the window like this, and literally, boom, 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 boom. Got to fix that up before we leave, which is here. Here, there you go. Go ahead and get down from here. Stand back, have a squeeze. But I don't really need to stand back because I have a gut feeling that we have nailed it. We have started to nail this downstairs area. Look at it. Okay, it needs something in the corner. And we probably all agree on that. It needs something in the corner. But it's breaking up the uh, mass amounts of sandstone down here so well. It's doing a fantastic job. So what I'm going to do now is just do an arch right around the our storage system for the Guardian farm here. Up, up, up. Just keep going. Like, literally, we're going to wrap it around. It should look gorgeous. And then we can put some glass in. Oh, the glass might make it even pop even more. And I don't even know how you can make it even pop anymore. Because we have done a fantastic job. Boom, boom, boom. Get down from here. Boom, boom. I think it's because we're filling up prismarine shards again that the farm is not spitting them out. Which is obviously a bloody good thing. Um, I need I need to put some... um, What's it called? Some bloody... Uh, fire out. Slip my mind now. Item frames. I'm going to make a few of those bad boys. You know why? Because we're going to obviously tag these chests. Oh, why am I breaking this? I just put it in. Bomb bomb. Alright, stand. Have a quick squeeze. Oh, guys, look at this. It's just falling together now. Like, it's... It's beautiful. Like, that's all we had to do is just add a bit of... What's someone call it? And that was it. Unless we broke the redstone. That would be horrible. Um, and then we got one more arch. Come on, let's do this one more. And we've obviously got the back wall here. But you know what? We probably, You know what I'm going to do, actually? I'm going to put a door in here. See, this is the mine shaft. It's getting bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. But um, I'm using less and less my of the mine shaft now. Is because I'm being, using um, shulker shells to put items in. So some of these shafts now go for thousands of blocks. So which is kind of ridiculous. So now, we'll probably put a door in here to go to the mine shaft. That would be pretty cool and seal this whole area up. Come on, I'm, I'm, I'm just losing sidetrack. Well, we're on a roll. I want to get this done. Well, as long as we don't... Oh, I, it, uh, I think the elytra is trying to glide. And that's why I'm having so much difficulty right now. Because I'm, I'm double space, I'm double pressing spacebar. So the elytra is like, glide. And that's what the glitchiness is. If you're wondering what that is. So up, 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 up. Round. Boom, boom, boom. Go out one block. Boom, boom. Break it. Glide down. Ouch, I just hit the wall. That's fine. Alright, this is it. This is literally the last little bit of the storage here. Alright, put the glowstone, uh, the sea lantern in as we talked about. We found another gap that we can do. We don't have to fill it in. We just, as long as you put a lantern in there, so nothing can spawn. And... Bob's your uncle. Ah! Click. Thank you. Alright. Woohoo. Check it out, guys. I don't know about you guys, but we have nailed it. Now we just need panes. Glass panes, I reckon. To go and cover that over. And that would look stunning. Absolutely freaking stunning. Um, freaking, yeah. So I need, I, I need, to, I need to make some... Some glass, uh, freaking glass panes. Hang on. We did have some glass, didn't we? Yeah, we do. Hang on. Hang on. We might have this yet. Put them in here. Make some glass panes. Look at that. We just tripled our what's going call it. There we go. Um, we're going to have to put upside down stairs probably just here. Only because if you want to put something... Yeah. So we, we may need to leave a gap here. Uh, we'll just break the glass. We'll break the glass later on because uh, we can open the chest still, which is great. All the way along. Come on. Come on. We finish off the storage room finally. She has everything it needs. And that's just going to be brilliant. Okay. Up we go. And we just slowly but surely finish this off. Holy smokes. Absolutely stunning, guys. What do you guys think? Leave a comment in the... 
yeah, leave a comment below. What do, what do you think about the new room? Like, we are definitely breaking up the sandstone, I think. Well, in my personal opinion, we are. Don't get me wrong, it could use some sea lanterns and a new pattern in the corners, but I think once we put the new piston door in there and wrap that one as well as, like, the entrance there, this room's going to start looking neat. We've already got the patterns for the floor. Obviously, don't touch that with a 50 pole. Don't, you know, ruin that. But everything is going well. And we've got the yeah, it's just oh, it's coming together, bits and pieces working on the on the, on the base. Eventually, she's going to be a masterpiece. All right, guys, we're going to go ahead and call it now. Thanks for watching episode 112 of Minecraft Down Under. Don't forget if you if you're enjoying the content, please smash those buttons, leave a comment below, leave a like, and share on your favorite social media. It'd be much appreciated, guys. Boom! Ooh. Look at that. Oh, does, is, does, isn't it feeling a little bit more complete? I don't know about you, but that's looking, it's looking good. Oh yeah, Gee, look at that. Looking good. Looking good. Alright guys, I'll catch us all later.